Finally, we have a title. Wait, is that the Ouroboros? Wait a minute. Alchemy and the Philosopher's Stone. How? Let's first look closer at that Ouroboros on the logo. I'm assuming you've also watched these videos on screen. All great theorists, and I highly recommend you go watch them if you haven't. Did you already? Good, let's go. And remember, this is all just speculation. The Ouroboros has mythological roots in our real life history from many cultures, often described as a single or pair of serpents holding their tails in their mouths, in the shape of a circle, which are manifestations of a deity to protect the king of gods in his journey in the underworld, and also represents the symbol of the beginning and end of time, eternal silic renewal or a cycle of life, death, and rebirth. And the shedded skin symbolizes the transmigration of souls. Thank you, Wikipedia. Sources and links are in the description below. Let's get on with this. Sounds very similar to a few theories already out there about how the Zonai were used in a ritual to seal Ganon away and turn him slowly into a lich. Even the Zonai used serpent-shaped dragon statues and even possibly worshipped Feroche at one point even. You know, a serpent-shaped dragon spirit. Which leads me to my next topic. No, not that alchemy. This alchemy. Do you see it? The three primes used to create things in alchemy. Don't you recall how the world was created as told by the great Deku Tree? Soul and combustibility. Din and the Triforce of Power. Spirit, fusibility, and volatility. Nehru and the Triforce of Wisdom. Body, non-combustibility, and volatility. Feror and the Triforce of Courage. All color code, mind you. Red, blue, and green, respectively. I promise this will make sense in a minute, just stay with me. I know I sound batshit insane. But if we go with Western alchemy, it's four basic elements, and this still somewhat lines up, as we now have Hylia, a fourth goddess, left behind by the other three to protect everything that was created by the three great goddesses, which also draws parallels with the Sheikah and the real-life Eye of Providence, or the all-seeing Eye of God. And in the latest trailer, we see Sheikah eyes Suggesting something went on between the Sheikah and the Zonai. What was the Sheikah doing? Making shrines and towers, maybe? Speaking of those, what's that strange liquid? Kinda reminds me of the teardrop shown in the second trailer. Could that perhaps be a form of Philosopher's Stone that the Sheikah made? And remember, it's not actually a stone per se. The Philosopher's Stone is a mythic alchemical substance capable of turning base metals such as mercury into gold or silver. It is also called the Elixir of Life, Useful for rejuvenation and for achieving immortality. Thank you again, Wikipedia. A substance called the Elixir of Life? Useful for rejuvenation? Sounds a lot like Link in the Shrine of Resurrection for a hundred years if you ask me. But this substance can also turn things into gold or silver. What's gold and silver? As speculated, Link is more than likely repairing the Master Sword here. And if the Sheikah made these structures along with the Shrine of Resurrection, then perhaps these tears are a form of the substance. Why mention the gold and silver? Well, the Master Sword and whatever the gold substance is is helping repair it. Is it the same stuff but modified? There's gold trees everywhere, and the temples in the sky have aqueducts with water inside, and the Zelda series isn't a stranger to magic water after all, is it? Is this the substance that she could use to create the technology found in Breath of the Wild? Will we be using it in some sort of way? After all, it's not the first time we repaired the Master Sword in a Zelda game. But how do we exactly repair it? I mentioned gold and silver before. Gold is represented by the sun and silver by the moon. And what is the moon known for in Breath of the Wild? Yes, reviving evil throughout the land. Astrologically, it's known for birth and parental instincts. Sounds like Ganon's caring about his slain Boko babes. So what about the sun? In history, it's represented by power, health, and vitality, and the sum of which is named the life force. And looking back at Breath of the Wild, not having 13 hearts will make the Master Sword suck the life force out of you. Life force, which sounds like it's needed for the elixir of life. Because I forgot to mention earlier that in order to make this elixir, you need a life force. And what better way than the gold trees and water, basically the land itself. And that was all created by who? The three golden goddesses who created the Triforce when they left this land. The Triforce is basically a philosopher's stone. It can grant any wish. Fun fact, Life Force is also known as our history as Prime Materia. See this image? Those three blocks? Remind us of anything?
and I base my thumbnail on the squared circle, an alchemical symbol illustrating the interplay of the four elements of matter, symbolizing the Philosopher's Stone. Sounds familiar. And the Triforce is usually represented by a color for each piece, red, green, and blue, as mentioned previously. Malice, Spirit Energy, and Sheik Attack. All are a different form of life force, and this wouldn't be the first time the Zelda franchise looked towards real life history and culture for inspiration. In fact, we've seen an alchemy circle before in Breath of the Wild, when placing the Sheikah Slate into the pedestal to complete the circuit and a teardrop forms to update its magical abilities. And we know that the circles are constellations, another thing alchemy has in common. And what's on the back of the Sheikah Slate? The all-seeing eye of the Sheikah. And we see a teardrop. Tears of the Kingdom. Anyway, I'm looking way too deep into things. I only had like four hours of sleep, so blame it on sleep deprivation, I guess. And even if I'm way off, there's still a lot of simulators that the developers use as inspiration for many aspects of the Zelda franchise. Hope you enjoyed listening to this crazy lore theorist's ramblings. I'm Bio, and have a great night. I'm going to bed.